hunt fish shoot back out on the range today and today we have the m1a scout squad an american classic if you guys like what you see today i want you to like the video i want you to comment and subscribe to the channel with the springfield m1a this is a scout squad variant you have an 18 inch barrel and a more handy compact model of an m1a a little lighter definitely for sure compared to your 20 and 22 inch national match um, with this one you're still going to get a national match trigger in it so the trigger on it is very crisp and clean uh, it's got your standard safety that's up here on the trigger guard for you and then you got your your mag release on the front there too with the m1a i'm not a huge m1a guy uh, just because it's a little bit before my generation frankly and now with today's gas guns that do shoot more accurately than your m1a you have that so but with the m1a when these came out the ar10 platform was not popular it wasn't something that could even really compete with this rifle and even then reliability wise if i had to pick an absolute battle rifle to get from hell and back this would be it um, there's so many videos out there and well documented how reliable these are and guys kicking the action close them still firing and things like that and there's still some of these even still in service today and more but overall it's just a very well-built rifle um, definitely hard use type nice big old charging handle on there with it and then you have slings front and back uh, and then you have a nice muzzle break up here that's proprietary to the m1a uh, it does a great job of really mitigating that recoil today so we're going to shoot it quite a bit uh, different shooting styles different you know a little bit of transition type drill in there too with this rifle, uh, we do not have any optics on it. I want to keep it more of its classic configuration. Uh, obviously, these started off as your M1 Grand, uh, and then they evolved into this with the magazine variant instead of your actual clip or stripper clips. It does have the ability to take those type of clips on it. Um, there is a sight rail up front here for you. You can mount a scout type scope, or you can do a red dot on it. I'd probably just do a red dot on it if, a, if I was going to put an optic. But then on the side here, you do have a screw, and that's to attach your optics mount. Um, so that way you can put an actual scope and a configuration you'd put on any other rifle. Again, this rifle just has a sweet feeling to it. It's a little heavy, but that heft on it will really help mitigate that recoil. And you guys are going to get to see that today. I'm going to shoot it from the prone position out to 100 yards, and we'll hit some steel with it. Obviously not super close because I'm not in the mood to damage all our steel today. But this rifle is awesome, and it is one sweet rifle. So I hope you guys like what you see today, so follow along. All right, we're out here at 100 yards. I've got the 20 round mag loaded up, not all the way, uh, but I do have some federal ammunition in here. It's 168 grain ammo with your open tip match ammunition. So let's give this some shots, see how it does. All right, guys, overall, just a blast to shoot this gun. And man, does it have some serious power behind it. That recoil impulse on this thing, though, is sweet. It just feels, frankly, like a badass rifle when you shoot it. If you're an American and you love guns, you have got to get an M1A. So let's shoot this a little bit more. I do a little bit of transition for you guys. I'm going to shoot it at 100 standing, go into 50, shoot that, and then I'm going to transition to my pistol once I run it dry. So you guys follow along with me here. Felt good, guys. That M1A is so much fun to shoot. Man, that is just an absolute bruiser of a rifle. If you really, if you're gonna pick an apocalyptic type gun, this one will fit that bill. Um, everybody loves their AKs, but when you take a rifle with the capability of a 308, with the reliability that you get with your M1A, that's such a hard use type rifle, I don't think you can beat it. 
And honestly, if I was gonna pick between an AR-10 and this, I'd take this. Not only has it got the cool factor, it's a classic type rifle, and I just, I freaking love shooting this thing. It is a sweet rifle. So shoot a couple more times, and then we'll go with some ending range notes. Woo! Man, that thing is sweet. Well, that's it guys. That is the end of our range day today. And this is one sweet rifle. I absolutely love shooting this. Now, if I had to pick in all honesty, AR-10 or this one for a crap hits the fan rifle, it is the M1A from Springfield. Just a sweet rifle. There's only one downfall to it, it's the safety. But overall, one awesome rifle. It shoots great. It has a ton of reliability. It's very well documented and a proven battle rifle. So if you guys like what you saw today, Hunt, Fish, Shoot, I want you to like the video, comment, subscribe, and follow along next time. Out in stormy weather, I might have the blues, but nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me.